Hello, happy haulers. Y'all, I got some good news for y'all. It's better than mine. Now, if you think that you're having a Groundhog's Day and you're seeing a repetition of a Michaels video that I did the other day, don't fret. It's not a repetition. But I got some good news. If you're one of the people who are like I normally am and will wait and not be one of the initiative buyers to purchase an item that comes out at $300 and you wait till it goes on sale because you probably won't use it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about myself. Um, guess what? The lowest price I have seen this little printer is at Hobby Lobby. They had it marked down to that special price that they do with the yellow sticker of $179. Well, guess what? It's even lower than that. I'm trying to be dramatic. <laughs> it's even lower than that, y'all. They got it for $107. Now, if it goes any lower and you all haven't gotten it, don't worry about it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to get me more than one because, you know, you get one and it might break down or something. Now, it's a hundred, I'm telling you, it's this. It's not a faker, it's not a knockoff, it's this E-Mark printer. Okay, then, you know, I told y'all I got this from Michaels the other day for $5.99, I think it was. They got this too, same price. Same price. Okay. I'm going to do this before I got on camera and I forgot. Guess what? I was going to have to order these because they have them at Michael's. They have them online at Amazon. That's where I got mine. And if you listen to that video, you know I bought three of those. One from HSN. I sent it back. The post office didn't deliver it. I'm going to tell on them. I'm going to tell on them. I'm going to tell on them. I used to work for them, but I'm going to tell on them. They didn't send it back to, and I didn't put insurance or anything or tracking on it. Then I have bought one from Amazon and made a mistake. You know how they tell you don't press the button twice. Press it twice. Contact the person and say, hey, I pressed it twice. I only want one. They sent me two. I decided to send the other one back to them. They never received it. Uh, oh, I'm so mad. But now I will buy another one for a cheaper price. But these here, as you see, these are the ink cartridges. They are sell for $40. They're $39.99. And they're done in nine ninety nine. So the two that were in the store, I went on and got them because that's gonna save me. Cause twenty dollars, I mean, it didn't even make it to the price of one. So I'm gonna be using this a lot more than I thought. Yep. So and it is um, it was all over in the sewing. If you notice, it's in the sewing department in front of the ribbon. And I didn't even need ribbon. <laughs> I just went over there. Um, because I saw in one of your videos that um, the ribbon was on sale. Well, I don't need ribbon. I got plenty of ribbon. In fact, I got a um, a whole basket of ribbon down there. And I even got the ribbon burner thing that you can use it to seal the ribbon that I haven't even opened that I'm supposed to do for a video. And I got a lot of stuff. I'm like, oh, I got so much stuff that I haven't shown you all that I have that I need to do things with. But I get busy. I get busy. In addition to shopping, I get busy doing things. And I do things. Like I did some puzzles. I did two puzzles last week and I got two more I'm getting ready to do. In fact, I'm going to show you the one because I got it from Hobby Lobby. And you probably still want to get it, but I don't even think they have them in there anymore. But if you have them, you'll see how. It's not a good puzzle, but it's a cute puzzle. Anyway, um, it's not in this video because I bought it a long time ago. All right, so this, I, so I ended up at the ribbon. And I saw these, and I got these, and I'm getting ready to run to every store in my area. And I got about five stores. I'm getting ready to run to every store to get those. So y'all better beat me to it. Um, but I got this. Now, I don't know if you all remember seeing any of my diamond dots. But you know the diamond dot kit with the fairy. I bought two of the fairies. Not knowing my sister was going to buy one for my daughter. But I um, bought two where she bought it and did it and then gave her the picture. And so I um, I was going to sew them together and show you how to do it either as a flat or as um, 
like a 3D purge, basically. 3D meaning um, a gusset in it so that it has more depth and width in it for you to put stuff. And then I was like, I really don't want to give up any of the space on the front of the picture. So I got this and I'm going to use this as the gusset part and stitch. Um, that was my air conditioning went off. I hope you all could hear me prior to, but you saw those price tags. And if you didn't hear me, I was saying that this is on sale at Hobby Lobby for $107, where it was originally when I purchased it, like $2.99. But when I got this one, it was a little cheaper, like maybe $2.50, because I did it off Amazon, and they gave me some discount books for some reason or another that they always have. And I missed $10 one time another week ago by day on some stuff I wanted to get. But I'm going to use this for that fairy diamond dot picture. I got two of them, and I'm going to use this as the gusset. It had another one in it that I like, but this here is kind of, it's kind of got burnt, um, burnt, um, auburn type red, orangey color. So this works better. Now I got these, not just because they were $2.49 and went to $62, but I got some shoes that I still haven't done and I need to do right now. Some of those wedges, remember those wedges they had Hobby Lobby? And I want to use those as the, for the buckle. Then this here is some wax button thread. Well, I do have wax for thread. But my husband has a a belt that he wants to get fixed. And he keeps saying he wants to get it fixed and take it to the shoe repair because they will fix it there. But um, I told him, well, I can do it. But I hadn't done it either. So anyway, it was originally $3.49. It was $0.87. Cents. So I was like, it's just enough and it's strong enough to fix his belt. And so I'll be able to do that. And what I'm going to try to do is remember to do it on a video so you all can see how to repair belts. <laughs> um, this is a an oil, an oil lamp replacement wick. And I got this because I got one of those, I think they call them emulsion lamps. You put oil in it, you light it, and then it's supposed to do like a slow burn. I don't do it because I'm not good with candles. <sighs> Just in case you're new and never watched any of my videos... I got one of those forever candles one time, lit it. I wasn't intending to fall asleep. See, I'm, I don't smoke because I'm that person who would smoke in the bed and think that I wouldn't fall asleep and that I wouldn't catch the house on fire. So anyway, I had this candle burning. It was burning. All of a sudden, it was burning too much. And by the time I woke up, thank you, Lord Jesus, he woke me up. By the time I woke up, it was getting ready to wick it all. It had burned a hole in the side and it was all getting ready to slide out of the out of the um candle. And this is one of those real thick fat forever candles. And I still got a red mark because I had one of those kind of white um finish jewelry boxes. And I still got a red stain from that candle burning. And I almost about to burn me the smithereens. And I was living by myself at that time. Hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't have been nobody saved me, but the Lord, hey, he's always there. And he saved me up and saved me. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm not playing about that. I do thank him. Okay, so you know Paper Studio is having a sale on the envelopes. I haven't shown any that I've bought, but I've bought some. Yeah, I know I did. Did I show y'all? No, because they're downstairs waiting to come up here and get in a video. They're waiting to be in the video, y'all. So I got these, you know, they're all $14.99 and we're getting them for $3.74. And I say we because I know you all are getting them too. So what I think I did, I did. Uh, I like the 5 by 7s which it is actually 5.25 inch by 7 by 25 which is, it works. And I was starting to think that, oh, did I get the same? I did not and I did not want to. Because I knew I was looking for, well, I picked up these first, these pastel springy colors. And these are more of a jewel tone fall color. And they kind of coordinate, but don't. You know what I'm saying? Same color family working their way. So, or I guess it would be working their way that way. But um, I said, well, hey, I got a lot of cream. I got some white. I got some gold. I got some black. I got some silver. I even actually bought that brown because it was like fall is coming around. Let me do something so I can get down and do my cards. Anyway, so, <laughs> so, um, basically I was like, I can have some colored cards. 
So when I 